everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Burton. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. We're going to do a very interesting demonstration here. Now, I'm going to say this one time. Actually, I'm probably going to say it a couple times after this. Um, you can't judge all black screens as being the same technology. You can't say, well, okay, because your technology does not work well um, with white levels that everybody else is going to be in the same boat. That's kind of like me coming out here and saying, well, guess what? An Elite Dark Star 9, a uh, DMP Supernova, and a Firehawk G4, they were all the same dark gray. They're all going to react the same way. If one screen comes up dark on white levels, and all the rest of them are going to be the same. And that's the reason why you should stay away from the technology. Now, keep in mind, in this demonstration, our projection projector is not going to be sitting right up on top of the screen. I'll tell you why a projector would pretty much end up sitting right up on top of a screen because the actual screen itself will fail at a distance. If it's washing out automatically from the door at being that close to the screen and whose projector is literally going to be that close unless you're using short throw but we're going to use long throw in this demonstration. I think it's more of a challenge to do a long throw demonstration than a short throw. That's why I'm going to do short throw demonstrations that have tons of light all over the screen to make it harder for the projector. But let's keep in mind, let's keep on the topic here. Now, our projector is going to be sitting back 14 feet. We're going to be using our ViewSonic long throw projector. Now, you're going to have those up there going to claim, hey look, a black screen is not going to be to produce bright white levels. It's going to struggle. Now our technology is not the same. We use smart technology gain times 12. Let me show you the power of a screen that does smart technology gain times 12. Keep in mind, the larger screen is actually the Eclipse Invisible Nano, sorry, Eclipse Invisible Black Silver Nano. That is an Eclipse Invisible Black Nano. And then on top we have the uh, Nano Silver, Eclipse Nano Silver, which is one of the brightest screens we designed. So I'm gonna show you this right here, fully lit environment, 14 feet back, we're not sitting on top of the screen. And the reason why, like I said, when a projector sits that close, it has to be able to keep up with the black screen because the black screen is gonna produce a better uh, um, contrast level. But like I said, in some demonstrations, they wanna show that a black screen can't produce good white levels. Well, let's see. When it comes to our technology, what do you get? All right, so we're doing a nice little flower scene here. And I want you to look at the technology I want you to look at how bright that the black silver nano, then right here, keep in mind, that's a black screen running. Let me move my leg over a little bit. You see, that's a black screen. So that's a black screen that's producing a white level that high. Now consider the fact that um, some people are claiming that you need to stay away from a black technology screen because it can't produce white levels and you will end up with a dirty image. I don't see a dirty image here. That looks absolutely beautiful. And let me tell you something interesting about the Invisible Nano. When this stuff is sprayed on plexiglass, it comes up brighter on plexiglass. Don't even ask me why, it just does, all right? That is actually plexiglass right there. That is canvas at the top. Oh, actually blackout cloth, and that's blackout cloth. So, okay, now, as you can see, the white levels look fantastic. Let's go over to contrast. All right, so we're gonna do this demonstration on contrast, all right? Now, see the difference between the technology when it comes to contrast and it comes to a silver screen. You're gonna say that a silver screen can bring out detail, but contrast actually is what detail is. Now, keep in mind, this is all supposed to be black. This is a night scene. And I've said it many times before that a contrast screen, um, a, um, a black screen can produce uh, contrast. I mean, sorry, not contrast, a silver screen can't produce contrast because it's not designed for it. It's designed for high white levels. But consider the fact the screen has high white levels and that my, um, my Eclipse uh, black silver, or invisible black silver, and the black nano is producing a white level that high. Let's come back over, show you. And that's why I said you can't prematurely put everybody's technology in the same category. You just can't. And there's proof right there. Now, if you're watching a demonstration and that screen is coming up black and dirty, 
on against a against a um a silver screen or a, a white screen then that just tells you that that's that person that's per that that belongs to that person's particular technology that would be their technology that's doing that you can't put everybody's technology in the same category look how gorgeous that looks that looks absolutely beautiful all right i'm kenneth burr from crystal itch technology screens using smart technology gain showing you how amazing our technology is. Our black screens produce amazing white levels, fantastic contrast levels, and they look absolutely incredible. And keep in mind, we're doing this 14 feet away from the screen in a fully lit environment with condensed lighting hitting the screen. That's why I like to show you exactly how much light hits the screen up like there, you know, the side like there, see? Actual light hitting the screen. Look how beautiful that looks. Now later on, I'll do the same demonstration with the window open, let light cascade on the window. And open up the doors, everything, brighten this place up, and you can see exactly how fantastic the white level is on this technology. All right, thank you all for your time.